Professor Chaim Breitbart of Bar Ilan University has devoted most of his professional career to the biochemistry of the sperm cell. He and his team of 10 graduate students believe they're on their way to developing compounds that will lead to the first birth control pill for men. This is a very smart cell, very smart. When I started to work with sperm, people thought, well, we know everything about sperm. It's very complicated. In 2006, he authored a paper that described capacitation, a process that sperm goes through before it can fertilize the egg. When the sperm get into the female, it cannot fertilize right away. The sperm should reside in the female reproductive tract for a few hours, three to four hours, and at that time, the sperm undergo few biochemical and morphological and motility changes, which prepare him to uh, fertilize the egg. What his group discovered is that, against all belief at the time, while the sperm is in the female, it synthesizes certain key proteins that help it survive and bind to the egg. If you take a textbook, it's written, no protein synthesis in mature sperm. We found that uh, in the process which we call capacitation, there is new production of proteins. From there, he noticed that the sperm of many infertile men don't produce these proteins correctly and he's well along the way to treating male infertility with this knowledge. That within a year we'll have a kit and this will kit will go into the clinics and uh, hopefully we'll uh, try to do the diagnostic first and later on the treatments. Then he realized there could be another use for this new information about protein synthesis. We had the idea that if we can block this synthesis we would be able to develop uh, a new uh, male contraceptive. And luckily, techniques are easily available today to block the synthesis of particular proteins in the body. Like a missile, I can target and to tell this protein, you, I kill you. This means that if I can attack a protein only in the sperm, I would have a very highly specific male contraceptive which wouldn't affect any other cell in the body. And so mice were given these compounds, by pill or injection, that targeted certain specific proteins in their sperm cells. And these mice stopped fertilizing their females. No side effects. The mice eat very well. They behave very nicely. They're having sex. That's what it's very like. important. When the treatments were stopped, the mice were soon able to produce offspring again. Professor Breitbart was excited to tell me that the male birth control pill also wouldn't violate Jewish religious law. Rabbi Feinstein, 20 years ago, came with a decision that a pill for the men would be okay if the man can be still active with his wife. And number two, very important, the effect of the pill should be reversible. And unlike the female pill which uses hormones, the male pill won't have any side effects. Professor Breitbart estimates his pill may enter the market in five years, after more research with mice, then primates, then clinical trials in humans. Many groups in the world are trying to find this, you know, pill for men. And, uh, well, maybe sometimes they're looking for something which is going to be very, very complicated. You know, what's nice with our idea is that it's very simple. Find out about other exciting stories at Israel21c.org.